Happy Friday! I hope you're having a great Friday. I'm having a great Friday. Oh my god, I woke guys up. I'm sorry. <laughs> we are gonna talk about the new makeup releases that's been really stars and sneak peeked. I'm gonna let you know what I think about them. Hopefully we like them. We might hate them. Listen, that's totally normal over here on this channel and we're just gonna be chatting about how we feel about these things don't forget to chime in down in the comments i love hearing what you think about these things and don't fight in the comments it's okay to disagree friends don't always agree about makeup or men or snacks but friends are always kind of respectful towards each other even though some of my besties hate licorice you know who you are so let me scoochy scoochy to the side is this okay am i <laughs> am i okay am i all right i don't know i think so okay i am wearing the Lunar Beauty Moonshroom. This one did release last week. I am clearly wearing a lot of the yellowy tones because I'm obsessed. I am a yellow bitch and I love it. So I did film a look and I'm wearing the gloss and I'm wearing the highlighter. The highlighter is beautiful. The highlighter is beautiful. And yeah, this one is available. You can use my code and get some money off. If I have any links or codes or any details, any details whatsoever about all of these things, if you're wondering, what did she talk about? What brand was that? Where can I find it? Is there a discount code? Everything is in the description box. And I filmed this look and I'm gonna have that in a future video. And I think we're just gonna jump into it. Ooh, 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 one more thing. Next week, New Makeup releases is gonna be on Sunday instead of Friday because I'm going to New Orleans next week. I am gonna have two videos next week. I think like Monday, Wednesday or Tuesday, Thursday, or whatever. Something's going on next week, but I'm going to New Orleans next week. So if I'm not so active in the comments, it's because I'm hopefully having a blast with my friends and I'm traveling back on Friday. So it's kind of impossible for me to film this and get it up on Friday, but I'm gonna have it up on Sunday instead. So next week, Sunday. Also my phone case is matching my eye makeup and I am thriving. I'm gonna start with reminding you that the mystery boxes by Odin's Eye is starting today. It says here on US Eastern time that it's gonna be 11 a.m. So they are starting this event soon where you can get a bigger box and a smaller box on a really steep discount, but it is a mystery. You do not know what things you're gonna get in the box. Some limited edition things are gonna be in the boxes as well. Some things are getting like a little bit of a comeback. My original Hello Palette it's gonna be in some boxes. The Christmas palettes are gonna be in some boxes. I think some collabs that they've done with some other gals are gonna be in the boxes as well. And also some of my Halloween palettes are gonna be in the boxes as well. So happy shopping. You can use the code and get some discount. And when they sell out, they sell out and they're gone again. But yeah, I'm excited for the event. Please let me know if you picked it up and let us know in the description box what you got in some former boxes that you bought because I know a couple of you have bought some Mr. Boxes from before. One thing that was announced just after I started like, Ed stopped editing last week, so I wasn't able to include it, is the collaboration between One Size and Wicked. And he has been hinting, like Patrick Starr has been hinting for a bit, that he is doing a collab with a musical. And a lot of people were thinking that it's probably Wicked because Wicked is having like it's the movie is coming i think this christmas upcoming christmas and i know like that's the one that ariana grande is in right i have never seen wicked i'm actually not i don't hate musicals that's a little that's a big too bold of a statement but i'm not a musical girly let's just put it like that i'm not dying to see musicals it's not my favorite genre i there are other things that i would prefer like to listen to but i think it's really fun because i feel like it fits the brand one size so there is a um highlighter that is defy gravity which i'm pretty sure is a song from the musical there is a brush that looks like a broom makes sense with the witch there is a his setting spray is coming in a glitter version and i'm not gonna lie who is this for um i can with honesty say that not a single time in my life except maybe a New Year's Eve, have I thought, you know what I would like? A full face glitter spray. I don't know when that would be appropriate. My like just off the cuff answer would be never. Uh, I can see a glitter spray for the hair. That's honestly kind of cute if you're going out clubbing. I used to be that girl. I used to want to have glitter in my hair, but on my face, that's a, I don't know. That's like an Edward Cullen moment that like, not any of us need to have right i don't i don't mm, i don't think that's for me there is also an eyeshadow palette and this is an eyeshadow palette that has two blushes in there and just on this picture the blushes look the same i don't know what that is about i like that there are some colors in here blue some greens this is one of those things where it's like 
I really don't need this. And because there are two blushes, I I am not the and I know other people are. Oh my god, my friend Samantha Mar, she loves a good like face and eye palette. She reaches for them all, all the time. Me, never. I don't want that. I want I I don't need that. And I know if I bought this to review it, even if I loved it, I probably wouldn't reach for it after reviewing it. So I'm just gonna sit this one out. I'm gonna sit this one out and you can let me know how you feel about it. Also, I feel like I have like greens in here and the if I wanted to play with some new greens, I could just do that. Honestly, yellows is my jam, so I'm very <laughs> excited about that. So I'm gonna sit this one out. Let me know if you're interested or not. I think I'm good. It's coming April 2nd, but there is a bunch of PR that has gone out. So if you're interested in seeing how it looks and swatches, a bunch of PR has gone out and you can just watch all the reviews you want. I, I don't think that this will be for me. I'm gonna sit this one out. Something, I'm just gonna let you know because I know a lot of people have been waiting for this one and sometimes things take a really long time to restock. I've talked about this before. Sometimes makeup takes longer than we think to produce and to restock. Cosmic Brushes is having a, a restock of the Winter Wonderland palette and they are planning right now to have a, a restock on the 11th of April and she is on open for pre-orders on Saturday the 30th of March, which is tomorrow. So if you were interested in this palette, if you have been waiting for this palette, the pre-order is supposed to open tomorrow and the palettes are gonna ship out on the 11th when they come back uh, in stock or I should say start being shipped out and she's also not putting all of her stock in pre-orders so if the pre-order sells out she will restock even more palettes on the 11th I hope that this makes sense you can also here use the code and get 10% off if you didn't know this was my favorite palette last year this one right here so I clearly cannot recommend this one enough I tried I think 120 eyeshadow palettes last year and a part of course of my own palettes because I created them so clearly they're my favorites. This one was my favorite. So I cannot recommend this one enough. Pre-order orders are opening tomorrow if you missed it. I never will tell you that like, oh, you need this, but I'm thinking it's probably gonna sell out again. So if you were eyeing it, just, I don't know, set an alarm maybe. Something that we have been talking about is finally available. And that is, so we saw a sneak peek a while ago of the new highlighters that are coming from Fenty. I cannot wait, cannot wait to own this. These are called the Demi, Demi? Demi Glow Light Diffusing Highlighters. They're $40 each, which is pretty pricey but this is a skin tone based highlighter so it's supposed to like melt into i mean this is a blinding highlighter this is supposed to be like a yeah a, a demi glow it's diffused light it's supposed to look like your skin has a glow so there's supposed to be a bunch of different undertones to fit your skin tone and it's a silky soft feel infused with super fine pearls designed to give a low key glow for every uh, tone very excited. Very, very excited. It says it has nine shades. There are only eight showing here. So just know that there is one more. I will a million percent try this one, but I have decided for right now, I did have my Sephora recommendations get uh, go up yesterday and just talking about stuff for my wish list. After I had filmed that video, this one had been come available and I also put this on my wish list. I won't make an order before the sale. If it sells out, it sells out. It wasn't meant to be, but I will buy it at a later time. But right now I'm not, because I'm, I'm traveling the whole of next week. Like what's the point of making a Sephora order before the sale when I can't even play with it until the sale has started? Like it makes no sense. I'm literally traveling home on the first day of the sale. But if you want to see some Sephora recommendations, like what's on my wish list? What do I actually recommend from Sephora? I would check out yesterday's video, but it, just know I did add this one to my wish list because I do want to pick this one up as well. And the second thing that I also put on my wish list are these blushes by Rare Beauty. We've finally been able to see them. I did end last week's new makeup releases saying that Rare Beauty was starting to sneak peek, that something was coming, and now we know that it is a very glowy blush. It is in the same compact as her highlighters, and I think that this is going to be not a glowy blush, I think this is going to be a metallic blush. I do like that, but I wonder if everyone is going to like that, because I think it's going to be like this, a wet cheek. That's what I'm thinking. I love that. 
I'm all for that, but I wonder how people are gonna feel about it. Honestly, I could do with any shade. Again, if they all sell out, I'll buy it at a later time. If they're my favorite shade sells out, I'll buy another shade. I do wanna try them. I get very sporadic PR from Rare Beauty, so I'm not expecting to get these at all. I will instead buy them. Like at least one they're 26 dollars each and yeah it says an incredibly smooth and weightless this powder blush gives you pinch perfect flush that seems to radiate from within highly pigmented based packed with shimmering pearls for natural dimension that's easy to blend build or diffuse for a softer effect so it seems that this one might be a little bit more of a buildable formula which i really like so i'm looking forward to trying this one i hope they're not as fragile as the highlighters because those were fragile like you looked at them a little intensely and they're just like <laughs> disintegrating abh has um, announced and i think maybe even released i'm not sure again i've seen people use it but it could be because they got it in pr this is the beauty balm serum boosted skin tint abh says that they released the first bb cream in a foundation stick i don't know if that's true or not i'm guessing this is just a more sheer formula in a stick i know that the stick from fenty uh the ease drop stick is also a little bit more of a light medium formula it's definitely not a full coverage stick and that one also works for more usually sticks and this is just me are very oily emollient and very good if you have more dry skin or looking for a full coverage dewy look i have not like they usually don't work for me i just don't like the look of them they feel a little much on my skin so I'm wondering if this one, because it is a solid serum boosted skin tint, that does seem like it might be a little bit more closer to the Fenty stick, which I really, really like. Sheer to light coverage for natural looking healthy glow. Quick and easy application at home or on the go. And that is one thing that I will say with the Fenty stick. It's so blendable that you can literally put the stick in your bag and just take a little bit on the finger if you need to reapply somewhere, which is one of the great things about the foundation stick because it's so easy to apply, so easy to wear, and so easy to blend out. This one is come. Oh, this one is available now. What do you think about this one? Do you want me to try it out? Again, I could take one for the team. We also talked about this sneak peek from Pat McGrath and it is exactly what I guessed that it was gonna be. She is just releasing her under eye setting powder. This is the Perfecting Blurring Under Eye Powder and it is in a pink shade. I will say this powder, it is beautiful under the eyes, but I don't like it anywhere else. I only like it under my eyes, but I have the light shade. Honestly, I kinda wanna bring that one out and use it. I think I'm gonna bring that one out from my collection and use it, but it's beautiful. It's super beautiful. And it has a natural sheen to it that just really looks blurring under the eyes, but I don't like it anywhere else on my skin. So she calls it an under eye powder and I would agree. For me, I only like it under my eyes, but now I kind of want to dig it out. I think it's smart to come up with it in a pink shade. Again, is she a little late to the party? Maybe. I mean, at least she's here. <laughs> she arrived. <laughs> Also something that was like announced after we uh, talked last week. Let me see if I can find a good picture for it. I don't know if this is a good picture, but Forever Mood, which is Jackie Ina's brand, they are finally releasing fragrances. I was kind of suspecting that this is where Jackie wanted to end up with her brand. She loves fragrances. I love fragrances. And she really had built this somewhat empire with her fragranced candles. And this this is just me. I am guessing it's a stab in the dark. I think it is easier to start making candles than it is to start making fragrance. I think you need a longer time to develop. I think that making fragrance is probably more expensive. I think you probably have to make bigger quantities when you're making fragrance if you're going to make it high quality. And I think it's harder to get the right person to help you make the mixes and the blends with an actual fragrance than it is with a candle. Again, I am just somewhat guessing here, but I think it's super smart for her to start with candles and then move into fragrance. So the picture that I had, it only has like three fragrances on here, but they're actually four fragrances and they are called You Remind Me, which has apricot skin, orange flower and sensual, sensual musks. That is not the type of scent that I want. And then it is NDA, which has tobacco flower, spiced rum and vanilla bean. That will be my one. The boozy note with the vanilla, 
10 out of 10 sounds like something I want to try. So I'm definitely going to be trying that one. That is the purple bottle. Then it is I Am Her, Red Velvet, Raspberry, Pear, and Oud. Think that also might be something I like. Uh, the Oud makes me a little bit worried, but also Raspberry and Pear. I think that one sounds good too. And then it's hard to get, which is lem Lemon, Jasmine, and Whipped Vanilla. I don't think I'm going to be trying that one. It could be nice depending on how zesty the lemon is, but I am going to be trying this. I am going to be trying this. Again, I would like to buy it in the sale. I don't know if it's going to sell out or not. This is launching the 2nd of April. So it's launching just before the sale. If this is available during the sale, I will buy one or two. If it sold, sells out, I will buy it later. Again, I won't make a separate order before the sale, but I am very excited and I'm excited for Jackie to be able to do something like this because you can tell, you can tell from the content that she's doing on her TikTok and on her Instagram that this is the kind of thing that she is very passionate about. And I am excited to see her come in like and do this because I can only imagine how long this has been in development. We'll say the bottles, not my type of bottles. I also am, I'm not the person who is attracted to blingy, crystally, shiny, diamondy, sparkly, sequ that's not my journey. And I know a lot of like um, American fashion and a lot of American home decor is very like glamorous and like white gold, sparkly, mirrored, like I it could not be, if you've seen my home, because <laughs> I have a home tour on my vlog channel, if you haven't seen it, maybe you should go and see and see our home and see why I definitely not this aesthetic. Um, I just like things that are like more earthy, minimalist. I'm, I mean, I'm a Scandi girl. I'm a Scandi girl and I grew up with the Scandi chic. That's like, that's my normal. That's how I grew up. So I definitely am more into that aesthetic, but I think that this is very Jackie and it is very American glamour in a pretty sophisticated way. I just can tell from my point of view, it's not something that like, it's not a bottle where I'll be like, oh, that's so beautiful. I want to display it. But I feel like that about a lot of my perfume bottles, if I'm going to be honest. Now that I look at them, I'm like, is there any? <laughs> I like the replica ones. Those bottles? There's something about those. I really like them. I'm looking at my bottles now. I'm like, no, maybe it's me. I think I'm the problem. <laughs> L'Oreal is coming out and they're revamping their Lumi series. They had this like uh, glowy primer that a lot of people were die hard fans of like 2015, 16, 17. I remember the booty gurus were going crazy over that one and they're revamping it. And it is the Lumi Glotion Natural Glow Enhancer. It has a new packaging and it has four different shades. So now it's going to come in fair, light, medium, and deep glow. And I think this is pretty smart. I mean, they were a little bit ahead of their time with a luminizing, shimmery mix with your foundation, use as a highlighter, use as a primer kind of a product before the Charlotte Tilbury one came out in different shades. And I think it's smart of them to realize that, yes, we were ahead of our time, but now we need to revamp this one to better fit into what people are looking for, which they wanted to have like match with their skin tone so they can use it all over. If this is a good product, if they kept the same good formula that they had before that people liked and just revamped the packaging and the different shades, I think this could be a hit. I think it is a pretty smart one. I will say drugstore makeup is definitely getting up there. Drugstore makeup in the US now is like what drugstore makeup used to be in Sweden. I only wonder what drugstore makeup is in Sweden right now. I don't know how much this is gonna be, but my guess is probably like 17. I would not be surprised, would you? I saw this one. I haven't heard anyone talk about this, but I thought this looked really good. And this is from Bare Minerals. Bare Minerals is releasing, it seems almost like a lip oil, lip oil stick. Doesn't it look super nice? It's a dewy lip gloss balm. Yeah, like a gloss in a stick, but it seems to be one of those that you twist up instead of like click up, which means that they're a little bit more solid and they won't be as goopy on the lips. I'm very intrigued by these and I will say they are, I like the shades. They're supposed to be hydrating and give you shine and color. And of course, not as goopy them because you can twist them up instead of click them up, but doesn't the shades look really delicious? Real, that warm brown, 
I think this looks great. I wonder if this is available on Sephora. Maybe I should put this in my basket. Wait, let me go and see if this is on Sephora. <laughs> Not me shopping while I'm filming. <laughs> I have never tried any of Vanessa Myrick's color fixes, but I think this might be it. She's coming up with some new colors and look at that yellow that's called lemonade. I mean, speak. I love yellow, I love orange, the red one, carrot cake, it's like an orange red, looks really beautiful too. But I think I might like get one just to try it and always when I get stuff like just to get a shade to try it out, I want to wait until I get like a shade that I'm like, even if I, that is the most dramatic dog ever, even if I only get one shade, at least I know I get a shade that I really love and if it doesn't end up being my favorite formula, I might even get some use out of it because it is in a shade that I really love. So I think that Lemonade will be mine. It's $20 each and it is coming to Sephora as well. Some colors were even spotted in stores already. The matcha one looks cute too. The matcha one could be one of those that I get if I really like the lemonade one. I think honestly all of these shades look really cute and these are a liquid eyeshadow blush lip color primer. They can be used for a lot of different things. I'm excited. I think I'm gonna try it. There is a new release from REM Beauty and this is an essential drip glossy balm, which is, I guess, a mix between a balm and a gloss. I'm wondering if this is gonna be the same formula as the liquid balms from Rare Beauty. I really like those, but those are a little bit more milky in color and these seem to be clear. So I can be very on board with like a balmy gloss that's seems to have a little bit of a pillowy like te that thicker texture to them i like a thicker non-goopy balm like non-sticky this this i don't know does this make sense i don't mind a thicker formula if it's not goopy or sticky so i might end up picking one of those up i'm not gonna like throw myself at the ulta website to buy it but i might there's also an energizing under eye balm it is a cooling balm that is clinically proven to hydrate and visibly brighten the under eyes, leave skin looking smoother and more energized. I'm guessing this is like an, and like an under eye cream for you to use as like a little bit of a primer before putting on makeup. Honestly, I've been having some problems with my under eyes. Maybe this is what I should be trying. Who knows? But those balms, I like the look of them. I could be trying one of them out. I do have the lip oil from... REM Beauty. I actually use that one still. I'm using, let me show you. It's right here. It's the one I use. I use it before I go to bed. If I need a little hydration, I don't use it every night. And I use it sometimes when I just want to put a little hydration on. I have it in mint condition. Mine is sticky. Is it supposed to be sticky? I don't, I don't know what a sticky one this is. I don't think that it's sticky, but I don't think it's from the, the actual gloss. That is more a typical lip oil without any uh, thickness to it. it is a thin just oil on the lips there is no there it's definitely not a gloss hybrid in any way it doesn't give any kind of like cushiony feeling on the lips it is just a thin oil that wears off but it is a pretty nice one but i don't use it as a makeup product but i'm intrigued to try these ones out for sure there is also oh let's talk about the ones from ColourPop is coming out this week. I said to you last week that I thought that ColourPop was sending me that new palette in PR. It turns out it was something else that was coming. Sometimes it's hard for me to know with trackings. I get a tracking that's coming from LA with the usual tracking like company that uh, ColourPop sends with and I'm like this is probably ColourPop. It wasn't. It was something else. Equally exciting though, but I, I also did not receive these in PR. So I think I'm gonna make an order from ColourPop. When am I gonna do that? Maybe I'll make an order. I'll make an order when I'm in New Orleans so I can get it when I get back. Because I want to try out these new lip plumping lip balms. They're supposed to be one of those like click sticks. These have ginger and mint in them. So I want to see like if I don't mind if they're a little tingly. I just don't want them to be like hot and spicy and hurting on my lips. There's also some like minty ginger lip liner. Same here. I don't mind if it's a minty lip liner. I love a minty product. I just hate when it's like burning sensation. Those lip liners from Too Faced. 
absolutely not. So I think I will be purchasing at least one color of each just to try them out and see. And I will be buying that eyeshadow palette too, because like I've said, I am, I have a, I have a mission. I'm on a mission. I'm on a Colourpop mission. This year I am going to try every release that Colourpop does, and I'm going to let you know which ones were the best and which ones were the worst. So we're definitely trying out these as well. I do have a code with Colourpop and you can save some money if you order from the site and I will be ordering these and I will be using my own code. Thank you very much. I got a lot of tags in this new e.l.f. collab that was coming. I don't even know if this is sold out or not, but they're doing a collab with Liquid Death. I don't know what that is. What is Liquid? I should Google. What is Liquid Death? People are tagging me in this and they're like, I think it's Liquid Death. And I'm like, I don't know what that is. Wait, let me see. Liquid Death. It sounds like a drink. Is it, is it a drink? Is it, I, I like seltzer. Or what is it? What is Liquid Death? Don't be scared. It's just water? What? <sighs> the drink is sold in a 500 milliliter drink can. It's water marketed as being sourced from the Austrian Alps. So it's sparkling water. Listen, I cannot imagine anything being worse for the environment than you buying water from another continent to get shipped here to you so you can drink. That's all I wanted to say about that. This seems to be a matte magic mist and set. It's a satin, li uh, satin lipstick in black. It is a cream eyeshadow in black. Uh, eyeliner pen, putty applicator. Um, no. It says no budge cream eyeshadow, but that is a white one? Or was it? I'm confusion. I have no idea what's going on. It's currently sold out. I guess you were excited. I... Why are we getting so hyped over water in a can? Because it's called liquid death? I feel old. <laughs> and out of the loop. There is a new bronzer coming from Giorgio Armani. This is already available in Europe. This is a luminous silk sunlit creamy bronzing powder. So I'm guessing a powder with a little bit of a creaminess to it. Ultra creamy bronzing powder that creates an instant Mediterranean glow. Ooh, who doesn't want that? Who? I could be all about that. Looks like you're back from the Italian coast all year long. Oh my God, say less. Don't threaten me with a good time. Sounds amazing. Oh yeah, it's um, formulated with skin gliding oils for a silky feel. Sounds amazing. Shimmery shades. Oh, I think I might be getting this. That sounds delightful. I want this. Wait, a creamy powder infused with oils in a shimmery formula? I, that got moved. I looked at the pictures and I was like, this looks really nice. I read the description and it immediately got moved into my wish list. I want that. I actually want that. I wonder if it's going to come to Sephora or if it's just going to be department stores. Either way, I am eyeing that. That sounds really delicious. There's also been a new beauty brand, and this is celebrity makeup artist Etienne Ortega. He is launching, and he has had his first launch. I think it launched yesterday or the day before yesterday when you're watching this, and he's launching some lip products. It is a lip oil and a gloss, and there are removing makeup removing wipes, which not for me, but then there is a lip liner and a glow color stick. It seems to be different kind of nude colors. I looked at the website. It looks really, really pretty. It's not something that I'm like, tr like dying to try now, but it looks really pretty. And Etienne Ortega is incredibly talented. So I could definitely be open to like trying something like this in the future. I think I'm going to wait for the next drop though. This a million percent. Yes. I have not even seen the inside. I feel like I'm that meme. Yes, immediately, yes, I've seen what I've needed to see. This is the Secret Garden Palette. It's coming from Bella Beauté Bar. This is like the front of the palette. It's coming in April. I usually get PR from Bella Beauté Bar, but if I didn't get this sent to me in PR, I would a million percent buy it. I am so intrigued because like their formula is just delicious. And again, I love those like warm greens and the color. Very intrigued. 
And I already am like, yes, I've seen what I needed to see immediately. Yes, I'm so excited. Another thing that I think I might be trying out, I like dry shampoos a lot. And I really, really, really just like the Batiste one. I buy it at the grocery store. I, even my husband really likes it because he also, I mean, he has longer hair than I have right now. And he likes a little dry shampoo just in between washes as well. But K18 has released an air wash. It's a dry shampoo uh, and it looks really nice. It's $48 though, but it's a non aerosol dry shampoo mist that lasts up to three days. That's the thing where I'm like, hmm, it has a patented odor, 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 uh, odor bind biotechnology to deliver high performance clean without excess buildup, white cast or heavy fragrances. So it's going to like refresh your hair, make it last three days longer without buildup, white cast or a fragrance and to take away ba bad fragrance from your hair. That sounds like magic. Like next step above that is like actual magic. I'm just saying. So I kind of want to try it and see because I usually wash my hair once or twice a week. Uh, once, usually on Monday or Tuesday, and then I use it for filming. And then if we have plans during the weekend, I'll wash my hair again, either Friday, Saturday. And I would like to try something like this to see, can I get my hair to last through the weekend as well with this dry shampoo instead of cleaning it instead of like washing it if need be <laughs> if i if that is what i needed to do i'm excited this is available now if this is available at sephora again <sighs> shopping in the episode if this is a, the bare minerals one by the way the lipstick i looked before it's available at kohl's but maybe it will come to sephora but let's look if the k18 is available here Oh my god, my dogs are so dramatic. Oh, the dry shampoo is available at Sephora. Let me put that in my wish list. My debit card is screaming, crying in the corner. Okay, just a couple more things. This one is from Unearthly, and this is the upcoming Spring Magic uh, collection. This is not a mystery box. These things are a collection, and you'll be able to buy these separately. There is going to be a pre-order that opens on the 4th of April. The uh, estimated ship date is uh, around... 18 to 26th of April. So if you want to, you can of course wait until then and just buy them when they're available. If you want to secure your copy, you can buy them on the pre-sale. All the items, like I said, will be available for sale individually. They're going to be the palette, the blush palette, a liquid highlighter, uh, two liquid highlighters and a lip gloss. They're also, uh, you're going to be able to buy the bundle as well. You can use my code and you can get some money off. I will say the palette is $78, which is pretty expensive. I will say Unearthly Cosmetics used to have really big eyeshadow pans and now they've taken them down a little bit, but they're still a little bit larger than a typical eyeshadow pan. So you do get more product. This is also a bigger palette with more shades. I do think that if they're going to do like a bigger palette like this, $78 for like this one is also, I think this one is also $78 or around there. This is 69 maybe. I need to go. Wait, I'm making no sense. Hold, hold the presses. <laughs> the reason usually why these palettes from indie brands nowadays are a little bit more expensive is because you get those special shadows in there. And the more special shadows they put in, the more expensive they get. Something that is a little bit more matte heavy usually ends up being a little bit more affordable because those are not, oh, this is actually 69. Okay, so this one has more shades and is less money. And I think for like an earthly, one of the reasons is that the pans are a little bit bigger than this. And I also am like, maybe there needs to be less special shades in there because when it starts to get like those prices, like Natasha Denona prices, and I will say, I think an earthly shimmer formula is incredible. Like it is an incredible shimmer formula. You can definitely tell that there are special pigments in there. They're very like reflective and beautiful on the eyes but it 78 is a lot of money even if you get 10 percent off that's that's still a lot of money again i say that as someone who like i've bought uh expensive things from pat mcgrath from natasha nona from ensley rain like some of their palettes are expensive as well i just yeah inflation is getting us all <laughs> everything is just getting to be very expensive even things that we used to think weren't as expensive like indie makeup but it, it 
is because of the pigments and I know that it's because of the pigments and the special shadows just makes things a little bit more expensive. Is it going to be worth $78? I have no doubt in my mind that the quality is going to be beautiful. That I'm not worried about. I'm just like, hmm, that's a lot of money. Looking at that green and blue shimmer in this watch picture, they look so nice. I cannot wait, cannot wait to put those all over my face. Can we just quickly, we talked about this, was it last week or the week before that Bridgerton was doing a collab with Bath & Body Works and I was like, I don't want this because I'm, I don't like Bath & Body Works. I sometimes think the scents are a little bit one dimensional and I also don't like the packaging of them. Like I would never put a Bath & Body Works candle out in my home decor. I just don't like the, the decor of it. Look at these candles. I am sorry, but there is nowhere in my decor where a candle like this fits in. And I know someone told me that it's because they want you to buy those candle holders. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't like those either. I don't like how they look. They're usually bedazzled or mirrored or sparkly. It's just not my journey. And these candles look cheap. The packaging, that is, that is not old British money. <laughs> this is not telling you I am a duke in England and it is 1800s. Absolutely not. Ab no, 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 no. And those little things that you're supposed to put in your power outlet to give a fragrance, who in the Claire's Overstock designed those? What is going on with those? Can, can you, the way you couldn't even waterboard me into putting one of those in my power outlets. What is going on? Do you see what those look like? They look like knockoff Barbie accessories and you want me to put, absolutely not, Ab hard pass. Okay, I think that that will be <coughs> it for today. I hope you're having an amazing Friday. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up or maybe even leave a comment down below. It really helps out when creating videos to get a little bit of engagement on them, but I will say the best thing ever to support a creator that you really like is to watch the video to the end. So thank you so much for watching this video to the end. It really, really does help out. I will have another video on hopefully Monday, maybe Tuesday, but we'll see depending on the New Orleans trip that I'm going on. Like I said, I will not be as active in the comments next week and my new make makeup releases next week will be on Sunday instead. But I hope that you are gonna have a great week. We'll talk again when I get back and I will be vlogging as well. I will be vlogging, but yeah, have a great weekend and I'll see you soon. Bye.